in the middle of the page is a cross. That's a vanishing point. Your first job to create a 3D shape in one point perspective is to draw, in this case, a square. Once you've drawn the square, using a ruler, project each corner back to the vanishing point, like so. As you can see, we now have a square where every corner goes back to a vanishing point which gives us a shape that is going back for infinity, it's going on forever. If I want to turn it into a cuboid or cube, I need to decide a depth to that shape. In this case, the top is completely horizontal, so the back of it will be completely horizontal. Put your ruler on the shape slide it up so it stays horizontal and draw a line at your required depth. At this point here, that's where the back of it joins on the side of the back, you must go, in this case, vertically. Vertically because that line there is vertical. So turn your ruler, get it as vertical as you can and connect. You'll see that I've now produced a whole range of cubes and cuboids on the page. The next job, like on the first cuboid we did, we need to decide the depth of all these cubes. You can play around with this quite a lot. Now remember, if that's vertical, the back of it must be vertical. If that's horizontal, then the bottom of it must be horizontal. In this case, because I've used a pencil for the projection lines, I can now go and harden off that line as well. Let's do it over here now. This one I want to be quite thick and chunky, so I'm going to go and do a line all the way over here. I draw the line between the projection lines only, and then I just join the front of the shape Finally, start to rub off all of the projection lines you don't need to use and you don't need to see anymore. Which leaves you with your shapes dark. With a light tone, you hold the pencil down the end. And what I want you to see is hardly any colour going down at all. The medium tone, you hold it in the middle. and the dark tone down the end. Now, front is light, the sides could be the medium, and the top or bottom Could be the dark. So pencil, hold at the end. Now turn the page around. Look how I'm holding the pencil right at the end, making sure you get rid of all of the white spots. turn the page. We're now going to do the bottom, which in this case must be dark. Dark must be dark there. I'm going to hold it down the bottom of the pencil. Turn the page. Draw 
trying to make sure there are no gaps in your colour. So there we go, we now have a light and a dark tone. Let's do it one more time on this shape in the corner. Right there, all coloured in now. So, a few little things at this stage. You'll see there's some smudge marks. At this stage, use your rubber and just get rid of them. Don't leave them there. Get a thick pen. Not too thick though, or even a black pencil crayon. And what I want you to do is go over the outline like so. But it's really important that you only do the outline. And you must use a ruler. Do it again. Line your ruler up. There, can you see every shape has an outline only? And your finished piece. Hopefully, neat colouring, neat outline, neat all round.